How shall to have children? Tell us how are responsible and completely dedicated to the test. So, um, race to. Would in reality only be a small percent of the population. Bang and parents have to be a job. Just like some people are lawyers, some are. Um, scientists, some are advocates, some are activists, so, some people with the desire to um, have children and have the qualities to have children, should have um, children. Not all humans should have children. In reality, a lot of people that have children also don't want to have children. In reality, they only say that because of society. <laughs> there is no absurdity so palpable, but that it may be firmly implanted in the human heart. If you only pain in Cooper hit yeah. before the age of five. In other words, there is no absurdity so absurd and so bizarre that it can be not believed by the majority of humans when you can let him believe that that is normal accepted. We need radical intelligence to reduce human populations. So fewer than one billion. We need large areas of the earth where animals are free to evolve without human interfering. We need to become earthlings, and as earthlings, we need to understand that all the other earthlings, all the other creatures on this planet, from bees to insects, to other kinds of insects, to uh, vertebrate and invertebrate, to uh, fishes, to the birds, to the monkeys, and all the other animals that are all uh, being earthlings. This is a planet with great diversity of life forms. It is not a spe it is not a world of one species, as many of us insanely believe. Humans should be placed in small areas in large ecosystems. In contrary with putting uh, small groups of animals in human based societies. Techno yeah, technology can break the bridge between the communities. And one city or a community of not to be larger than to uh, 20,000 people, 20,000 people. And we have to understand that human life is not more important than the life of any other species on this planet. Because in a planet without a phytoplankton, a small, tiny marine plant, the whole ecosystem will collapse. And we lose most of our oxygenons on the planet. And we destroy the whole ecosystem of the sea. Without bees, 
No pollinators like butterflies, webs, wasps. We don't can survive either because pollinators are being responsible for the growth of many and I repeat many of uh, the plants. Without them, we not can survive, we not can live. This whole planet is one whole big and incredible diverse life support system. What we not even for, for even the so 50% can understand on this moment. And maybe we cannot understand it even over a billion years if we get a chance. Even the most scientific efforts show that humans, if they go in this rapid diminishing of the diversity of life forms, we have not uh, more than 29 years left. Because then we have destroyed the an entire um, rainforest, entire sea. We do have the diminishing toll, and we have killed the planet's life support system. That seems to me not something of an intelligent species. Humans have one great one, their destructive behavior or their technology blood sucking, blood sucking, life support sucking technology. With our big long leaners that go over the bottoms of the sea, take any space, a little bit of uh, life out of the sea. On this moment, Two point three. Um, as on this moment, some so ninety percent of the seas are overfished. That means that there is too much diversity uh, taken away from the sea. There have to come a taboo on animal based agriculture mother how I want to call it the most biggest atrocity or animal slavery because it's slavery slavery is a system where other living beings are socially oppressed and economically exploited Look to what the narrators say of slavery in America. Frederick Douglass acknowledged that his master most likely not more think about him as one of his pigs of his stock as a young working animal. He was broken, so we're there. As he said in his memoir. Since the Industrial Revolution some 50 years ago, the population of the sea, phytoplankton, are diminished with some 30%, 55%. Phytoplankton are responsible for 50 to 70% of the world's oxygens. This disminuity, if it go in this rapid stage, will finally show the disminishing of all life in the sea. Because phytoplankton are essence for the life of this planet. And without phytoplankton, no single plant, no single creature will live because there are the, one of the key factors of life support on this planet. There are 
being eaten by by zooplankton, the larva or the babies of the fish and the crabs and all the other animals on the sea and small animals on the sea also phytoplankton uh, plankton also, also being eaten by many other species in the sea it is the key factor of life in the sea It's one of the most biggest pedestals of the life support on this earth. If they are disappear, it's not good for the world's ecosystem. But humans, if they disappear, anything become better. The sea clear up, the water become um, more clean, the skies clear up. The ocean, uh, ocean layer become better. The forest heal. If humans are think that they are so special, what's your justification for it? Before 1900, we have only one billion human primates. On this planet, so called human primates. On this moment, less than 200 years later, we have 7.5 billion homini that call themselves humans. According to the growth trends of the United Nations, this will grow to an estimate of 10 billion or higher in the year 2050. This will frack one extremely detrimental effect on the, on the support system of the Earth. Also because in um, poorer countries there is more animal products and animal products are cost far more to produce than a far bigger threat to the diminishing of species diversity and the life worth of this earth than uh, plant-based agriculture and that's easy to explain because uh, we need something like 16 to 20 times the amount of uh, plant food to create one pound of animal animal uh, flesh. Uh, we need something like two thousand five hundred gallons of water, or uh, nine hundred uh, nine thousand four hundred fifty. liters of water we need uh, 5.5 acres of rainforest one acre is a little bit less than one uh, sport field and it costs to, um, so, some around 80 kilo of uh, CO2 kilograms of CO2 square cup of CO2 in form of matter and agriculture is responsible for according to a report of the United Nations and also a report from the World Watch Institute for um, Fifty-one percent of the global greenhouse emissions. In contrary, with all the forms of transportation together, that's thirteen percent. 
you don't have to be Einstein to figure out this. Indeed, maybe there is not an overpopulation of humans, but there are food choices are costing overpopulations. We have um, on this moment. So I have I say 7.5 billion humans on this planet. But this human is eat over 60 to 70 billion land animals and over 2.8 more a trillion marine animals been killed for them any year. And I also have a lot of carnivore animals like uh, cats. The cats eat more fish than all the seals together. And people give uh, she's, seals the bad hands on it. We have in this time also a lot of good um, plant-based cat food and dog food. This is, oh, that can also reduce um, the greenhouse gas emissions. Check my video about can cats be uh, vegan? If you want to, not believe me on that. I've also links in the description below. If you want to believe me on my words on that, not on this. This just because of all the problems on this planet are just because of human arrogance and stupidity. Mainly their arrogance. And if you say that uh, they are also overpopulated. Check then Gary Orofsky's website and click on the article with the title What is wrong with hunting? Because I have not time now. Because I have to go to make also a video about that. Maybe I'll do it in the future if you want that. Because the reason of that I can make short and short a little bit. It's because of um, sex bias hunting. They shoot only the males, and then they get more animals, and they look like if they have uh, reduced it, but only they increase it because that costs uh, the proper the preparation cycle of the female to go haywire and it doesn't reduce populations um, because the are not there's not a good balance between male deer and female deer and what the hunters always want they're all, there's always is what they talk about and if you all look at the uh, programs of them they also talk always on big uh, trophies, big birds. Um, if you ever see a picture of one hunter that um, hunts one sick anorexic female deer, no, they only go after the big manly deer with very big. Born, um, with a very big um, trophy on her head. And we take also the world swings that uh, are big and muscular, not the ones that seem sick and and it's also so absurdity with their scream out. Also to say, oh, the feet uh, to 
It's also one public relations shit story of that. There are also uh, say, oh, if we not shoot them, they are dying. And they also say, oh, we uh, give uh, us to uh, the poor. When it in reality is far more uh, cost effective to feed people um, rice and tofu. If they truly really want to help people that are starving, give them that. Give them rice and tofu or potatoes. Or uh, cassava. Or any kind of plant food whatsoever. Which if you want to learn out more, check out Gary Orofsky's website. Very great info on that one. When darkness and light become well, the reality splinter away and the truth become visible. Check it out. <laughs>